Hey guys, Angie Smith here. Thank you for watching and welcome back to my channel. So on the first, I placed my, I did a party close out with Cincy and I placed um, some holiday stuff um, from the catalog, the Harvest collection, um, some new scents for the holiday collection um, that are exclusive right now for consultants to pick up. So we'll go through all of this stuff. Um, I did have some customer orders that I've pulled out of here, uh, but let's jump in with what I got first. Um, so I went ahead, since he decided to take three scents uh, that are in the catalog and give us give it to us in bricks. So look how big this is. This is about a pound of wax. So like five and a half bars. Um, this is a bar. This is a brick. So a lot more wax. Each of these cubes are about um, four. Like the brick cubes are like four, equal to about four of the bar cubes. Like four of those. Because they're thicker. If you look, they're thicker. And they have some depth to them. All right, so pumpkin roll is the new offering. You can get this all this catalog season. You don't have to do it through club. But I believe you can get these in club. I did um, my free, some rewards for these. Um, very snowy spruce. This is like the Christmas tree scent. So pumpkin roll is like a pumpkin bakery scent. And then um, very snowy spruce is like the balsam, cedar branches, woody pine cones. It's the tree scent. I'm looking forward to that one. And then Christmas cottage is the third brick. Um, I really like this. I honestly haven't warmed this too much in the past. Occasionally. It is um, Valencia oranges, raspberries, cloves, and spices. And it's just like, to me, like a Christmas. Definitely a Christmas scent. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, there's some mixes I want to do with this as well. All three of those scents are ones that I'm sure I've tried, but I they're not ones that I normally keep, so I'm excited to have those. Let's see, what else did I get? Um, I got a couple of dishes. I got wax on the outside. So, um, this one is the Tiger Pumpkin Warmer, which is orange. And then I'll explain on the other one, too. I might as well just pull that one out. So, I picked up the Opulence, which it might still be in clearance. So, I picked up the Opulence when it was new to the catalog a couple... I think two or three seasons ago and it is just a pretty like purplish glass warmer that has like I pull it out for fall because it has like like some golden on it um they look like leaves in the glass so to me it's like a fall type warmer and see how it's this pretty like purple now the problem I had on my original warmer dish is because um, I think what they did is that it's not like purple glass necessarily. They coated it with a coating so that purple was like peeling off. So I bought one last year um, and then I decided I looked again and I decided to go in and get a second one in case that new one I got last year starts peeling uh, because it just doesn't look very pretty. Um, so I just wanted a backup for that. So that's why I got, I guess, long story with that. That's why I did the Tiger Pumpkin Warmer because it's orange and I thought maybe it would have the same issue. Like it hasn't so far. But I thought maybe it would have that same issue where it was coated. I don't know for sure. This 
I'm assuming it is, and that it would peel. So I wanted to have another dish in case, um, since they pull, I pull them out and they're for my like fall warmers. Um, so in case that one peels, I wanted to back up so that it would be pretty steel. Um, so that's why I got this dish. All right. Um, next up, I have lots of flowers. So I actually had um, some customer orders of the flowers, and then I just um, picked up some for myself as well. So, um, and I think some of these are, a couple of these are my customers still, but it's okay. Um, Fall into Love, there's two there. So they're now coming with the top part separately. So this is the oil. I don't want to open that one since I think it's my customers and all of these have the same like sunflower and I'm super excited for the sunflower um, in the fragrance flower because it's it's such a nice decorative piece for fall and I'll open one in just a second and show you because I know for sure the cashmere leaves is mine so there's a fall into love here's the cashmere leaves we'll open that one in just a second and then another cashmere leaves. Another cashmere leaves. Fall into love. Um, these might just be the, oh, there's a forever fall. And the sunflower ones only come in the three cents for the harvest collection. There's a sunflower top. So we'll probably just come across more of those. All right, so let's open this because I'm going to put this out anyways. I'm not going to open the oil right this instant because I don't want to mess in case I spill it. So this is like a pretty like brown oil. And so then this sunflower, let's pull this open and see what it looks like. Again, if I were to gift these, I would probably have the box all tore up. So pretty. I, oh my goodness, this is so pretty. You know, these are handmade. Um, there's like a little country. I'm assuming it's a little village and they hand make these. But look at how pretty that is. And it is just, and then this is like, I don't know if you can see that detail of the center. It's like, it's really soft. Like that's, I think this is solo wood. And it's almost like they cut down pieces of that to make that center. That is just so gorgeous. And then there's this piece of tape here that you may not know is here. You want to make sure you pull that off because um, it basically just restricts. Well, now I like broke part of it off, but not all of it. But it like restricts the threads at the bottom so it doesn't get a good flow of oil if you leave it on. I'm working on it. This one is fighting me though. It wants to stay on. that one wanted to stay. So um, I pulled that off and that kind of lets those threads now fly free so it can soak up that oil. I'm definitely, I'm putting this out for decor. I'm excited for this. And then I don't have a picture of once the oil soaked, but it'll turn the color of the oil. And I think each one of these oils is a different color. So that you can have all three and do like three different colors for harvest. Super cool. All right. Um, 
What else did I get? I got lots of wax. So, I'm not even going to read the scent notes because we're going to talk about these new scents. Actually, I'm just going to go ahead and tell you what I got on the new stuff, and then I'm going to film separately for first sniffs. Let's do it that way. So, I did get the holiday collection. I got, here's the brochures, but I picked up the, um, as a consultant, we get early access to the wax kit. So, this will be released on October 1st, and if you buy the five the five piece bundle, which is 25. So they're five a piece. Then you get this little bag that the bars fit in. And then, um, the five bars are vanilla, barnwood, sleigh ride, cranberry candy cane. Like I said, I'm going to film a separate video to first sniff those. Um, and then Cherry's Jubilee. There's one more. Rum Pom Plum. So like the drums, like rum pa pom pom. So rum plum pom pom plum. That is a tongue twister. All right, and then um, I picked up some six packs. Scary Good, Paulo Santo and Cinnamon, Cinnamon, sorry. I'm gonna stack them in this box. I did pick up the Breast Cancer Awareness, the pink bars. I'm gonna post that separately for a cold sniff review. Uh, these are available October 1st as well. And um, $6 of every purchase of this goes to the breast cancer, like a charity foundation. So I love that. Um, dashing, so I got a bar of dashing, cranberry and cardamom. Cashmere leaves from the Harvest Collection. Frosted Cedar. I absolutely love this scent. Another Cashmere Leaves. Gimme Candy. Uh... There's another sleigh ride that goes with the Harvest Bars. Frosted Cedar and another Palo Santo and Cinnamon. I think I did like two or three each of those. Those are the new releases, and I like them. Another Cashmere Leaves. Another Dashing and Scary Good. I do want to give the Scary Good a sniff, though. This is just a pumpkin scent. is in here. I picked up, um, as a consultant, we get like what they call a transition kit. So it's just the testers that are in the catalog. So if you have testers that are all season, like Luna, Amazon Rain, Welcome Home, that are in both catalogs, they don't give you new testers for those. And you, if you only do the transition, these get real icky over time. So I ordered um, those three because I needed new ones. Two more white pumpkin and drizzle. Or driftwood drizzle. <laughs> white pumpkin and driftwood. Uh, this goes with the holiday. Gimme candy. I do want to get that one a sniff too. That's so good. It's like a butterscotch, like candy kind of candy corn kind of scent. So good. 
I didn't stock up on it last time. Um, this is something for a customer, so I'm going to put that in. And then um, I just, oh, another cranberry and cardamom was hiding down below. And then a couple more of these, like, fragrance flowers. These are just the, like, flower part. I kind of like how they're separate because I feel like it keeps the flower, like, um, so it doesn't, like, I don't know, separate from that, like, heavy oil bottle. There's just the holiday collection stuff. And then, um, okay, what else do I have in here? Two more things. Two more. Um, so I decided to try out the tabletop fan diffuser. So these are brand new to the catalog. Um, so they have like almost like a little warmer, but it's a tabletop fan diffuser. Um, let me see if I can find them in here with the pods. So they use um, the Scentsy pods instead of the, um, like instead of wax. So the pods are like um, little beaded. If you've seen those, they're little beaded things. They go inside the fan diffusers. And these are the tabletop ones. Uh, there's one in the, like the Harvest and I think even the Holiday one, um, but the ones in the catalog, there's like this blue it's called denim and then this be speckled one which is the one that i picked um so i'm excited to try that because i thought um i used to have a a wax um warmer next to my desk that i work on when i'm working from home but it was on like my filing cart and every time i would kind of hit that it would like shake the warmer and it would spill wax. So I moved that. Um, so I think I want to put this tabletop diffuser right there. So I still have scent right next to me while I'm working. But if I bump it, it doesn't spill because it's in the pods. So this is a brand new item for the catalog. I was just reading a little bit. And so, oh, it's kind of heavy. So it has like a USB cord that you could plug into like your phone charger or your laptop or whatever. This is kind of heavy. It's a nice little size. Oh, wow. It's like ceramic. Okay. Yeah, it's like that um, porous, like ceramic. It's really pretty, though. I like that. Um, I don't know if you can get a good look. How it's speckled. It's got like browns. I think that's browns and black on white. So it's a very neutral one like I said that's like matte ceramic this part's plastic this is kind of like where the fan blows through and you could stick your pods inside with that fan going I'm excited to try that out and it's really cute looks like there's the on off button right here and this is where you would plug it in I think it's plug-in, it's not like it charges. Make sure the Scentsy Tabletop Fan Diffuser is not plugged in when you're changing fragrances. Place one to two Scentsy pods in the diffuser. Yeah, you turn it off and on with the power button. Nice. 
yeah, I'm excited to give that one a try. Um, I have a few pods already and I wanted to, um, I thought that would go well, like right next to me because I don't have room for a warmer. And then, um, last but not least, I picked up a new warmer. Try to push this out of the way because I'm getting stuck with everything over here. Um, I picked up the Forest Light Warmer. I don't think I'm actually going to put this out until after the holidays because I feel like it's more of like that um, January on kind of warmer, but we'll see what I do when I start to switch out my harvest. So inside um, is a square dish. It's a nice thick square one. And it's um, got a four. Definitely could get four cubes in that. Is the max. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to, this is really pretty. So this is like a white brushed, like brushed over gold, probably metal. It's a metal warmer, if you haven't seen this already. It is 25 watts, and it is one of the new ones where you can pop that out. So if you didn't, like you got to me, if you bought this and you use this for a couple of seasons and then since he comes out with a newer one that you'd want, you could always pull this out and even just leave it out as decor without it being plugged in. It does have a notch right here where you would slide your, so it sits level. gold inside and then like I said it's brushed white on the outside over the gold I'm gonna put the light bulb in and then I'm gonna plug it in I gotta get it right on the notch though there we go And then it has a top. So this kind of reminds me of, it's all metal too. This one's like white on the inside though. So it's brushed gold and white. I know all of these are hand painted. in. It's just a nice glow. It's pretty. It reminds me of those. Um, it's going to definitely put off like I sh see the shadows. Definitely of all of this. It's really pretty. I really like this. And because this is metal, it's 25 watt, even with the holes, I think it'll heat up like the wax pretty nicely. I love it, it's super cute. I like how it's like the tree and then like the golden coming through it. And then you would just put your dish right on top here. And then your lid sits right on top. 
I like it. Um, it's kind of similar. They're different with the shapes, but to the one we got last year, that was, I think, maybe December's warmer of the month. So, um, I might pull those out together. Like I said, after I take down like all my Christmas warmers, I'm going to give that a second for the bulb to gut die down before I pull it apart. But no, I'm happy with that. That's one, the one I really wanted for this catalog. I usually pick one I want. Um, the other one I want from the catalog is the charitable warmer. I'm a sucker for anything with hearts on it. And it is so lovely. Um, I feel like it's more of a, like after the holidays warmer. So I'm probably gonna wait because that's not one you can use like rewards on or half price on. So I'm gonna wait. But that's, um, I usually try to only pick one warmer per catalog for myself. So um, thank you for watching and I will see you on my next video guys.